Hello and welcome to another Sot and Brain Hub video. My name is Charlie and today I'll be giving you a quick look at Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. Wernicke syndrome and Korsakoff syndrome are two related neurological disorders. They often occur together due to thiamine deficiency and most cases often result due to long-term alcohol dependency. Wernicke's encephalopathy represents the acute phase and Korsakoff syndrome represents the chronic phase. So let's start with Wernicke syndrome which is also known as Wernicke's encephalopathy. The regions of the brain primarily affected are the cerebellum, brainstem and the mammillary body. Remember, if you know the regions of the brain that are affected, you should be able to make a pretty good guess at the type of symptoms a patient may present with. Confusion is one of the first symptoms of Wernicke's syndrome, along with ophthalmoplegia. Remember that ophthalmoplegia refers to weakness or paralysis of one or more of the extraocular muscles. Another symptom of Wernicke's encephalopathy is ataxia, which is caused by damage to the cerebellum and often mimics the symptoms of being drunk, with symptoms such as slurred speech, stumbling, falling and incoordination. And finally, due to the thiamine deficiency, those with Wernicke's encephalopathy will experience B1 deficiency related symptoms, which include loss of appetite, fatigue and irritability. Treatment mostly involves identifying the underlying cause and supplementing the diet with thiamine. To remember these symptoms, you can use the mnemonic COAT, C-O-A-T. And now on to Korsakoff syndrome. This is a disorder characterised by disproportionate memory loss in relation to other mental aspects. The same regions of the brain are affected in Korsakoff syndrome as they are in Wernicke's encephalopathy, with the addition of the limbic system. To remember the symptoms of Korsakoff syndrome, use the mnemonic RACK, R-A-C-K. Firstly, we have retrograde amnesia. This is a form of amnesia where someone is unable to recall events that occurred before the development of the amnesia. Secondly, there is anterior grade amnesia, which is a decreased ability to retain new information. Thirdly, we have confabulation. This is a type of memory error in which gaps in a person's memory are unconsciously filled with fabricated, misinterpreted or distorted information. It's not the same as lying, but rather when someone confabulates, they are confusing things that they have imagined with real memories. And finally, we have Korsakoff syndrome. This is a late complication of persistent Wernicke's encephalopathy and results in memory defects, confusion and behavioural changes. Korsakoff syndrome occurs in 80% of untreated patients with Wernicke's encephalopathy and severe alcoholism is a common underlying cause. So, you can remember the clinical features of wernicke korsakoff disease using the medical mnemonic coat rack. So let's summarise. wernicke korsakoff syndrome is a brain disorder due to thiamine deficiency that's associated with both Wernicke's encephalopathy and Korsakoff syndrome. Wernicke's encephalopathy is characterised by confusion, ataxia and abnormal eye movements, whilst Korsakoff syndrome, on the other hand, is characterised by memory loss and confabulation. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Find us on Facebook, Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel to help explain the mysteries of the brain.